Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, I will explain you how to assemble the robotic gripper parts in SOLIDWORKS. We have already modeled the robotic gripper parts and I will provide the link in description. So let's begin. So I'm gonna open a new assembly file. I will select assembly and click on OK. And I will cross all the windows. First I'm gonna change the background to plain white and then I will show, make sure that I'm working in MMGS as units. And after that I will click on the insert component then click on browse and after that this is the folder uh, and the parts that we have created so I'm gonna open this part which is robotic base link so this is the part that I have already modeled okay now I will click on insert component again click on browse and this time I will click on gear one and this is the part that we have modeled in the previous video as well okay now I will select this part and hit the very first option open it as a separate part file and then I will select this um, this hole and select edit sketch so I will only make one change I'm gonna change the distance between these two holes from 16 to 10 millimeter and then exit the sketch go to file click on save and then cross this window and we are back so this part has been updated so that's how we update the parts if you want to and then I will drag this part here okay and now I will click on mate and then I will select this hole and select this surface of the hole and then check the box so this is assembled like this now I have to assemble it again so sometimes it happens to us that in this window some wrong part happens to us then in that case we can cross it again and then select the mid again so this is the window and uh, i'm gonna select this face and i want to mate it here so i will select this face and then check the box so this is assembled so my gear link has been assembled to the base link and it can rotate like this and uh, one thing that uh, you need to understand that the base link will not be able to move because it is uh, fixed and the other part will be floating so I will open another gear link this is the same part we can open it like this or let me show you another option I'm gonna delete it from here hold the control key and drag this part here by using your mouse uh, and then you can rotate it like this you have both options to insert the component in the assembly file and I will rotate it like this so that the gear can mesh the gear teeth can mesh okay now I will select the mate and uh, in this window I will do the same thing select the surface of the hole and the surface of the hole where it's it has to be assembled okay now I have to assemble the base surface okay so what I will do I will drag this part here like this and then I will select the mate and then I will select this surface first and this surface then it's gonna get assembled and then check the box okay so this part has been assembled like this so I will correct these teeth because when I move one part the second part should automatically move it in so I will crack these teeth first and then okay I will go to mate and in mate we have different options like advanced and we have to go into mechanical so in this window I am gonna select this uh, whole surface and this whole surface of uh, the gears and then I will select here the gear so here we have different options like uh, the gear ratio which should be same I'm not, I'm not gonna change any uh, thing from it and then I will check the box so when I move one part the second part will automatically move like this it is not 100% correctly aligned and I will show you in the later tutorials we will fix it so now I'm gonna assemble another part so I will select this time connecting link and I will place it here then I'm gonna rotate this component like this a little bit and then after that I'm gonna select the mate and um, I will select this surface of the connecting 
link and the surface of the part and check the box and now I have to assemble the surface <coughs> so I will drag this part here away from the body and I will select the mate and I want to make this surface of the connecting link to this surface of the base link so then after that I will check the box so this is assembled like this okay so this is correctly assembled and let me drag this for that you have to hold the select the part and then hold the control key and drag the part or you can manually insert the part and this this is the same procedure uh, I, wa I want to assemble this surface and the surface of the hole of connecting rod and the base link and I'll check the box okay so this has been assembled assembled correctly you can move these link like this it's up to you you can manually check it if it's working or not then I will assemble another part and this time I will insert this part gripper link 1 and this is basically this link which will use for the gripping purposes so I want to rotate it a little bit like this first okay because the gripping surface should be inside like this okay and now I will select the mate tool and I will select this surface of the hole and this surface of the hole yeah assembled and now I have to assemble the flat surface I want to select the mate again and then this surface of the gear link and the surface of the gripper link and check the box and then I will do another thing <coughs> since uh, this link has to be connected with the gripper link so I will select the mate and in the mate selection I will select the surface of the hole and the surface of the hole for the links and check the box so this will they will work together like this now okay they are assembled like this so uh, I'm gonna insert another part and I will rotate it to give it the correct direction because they're gonna get connected like this okay so that after uh, making that direction correct I will assemble it so I will click the mate and I will select the surface of the hole and the surface of the hole for the gear link and then I will select the surface of the gripper link and the surface of the gear link and check the box so it has been assembled like this we are only left with one more mate so I will select the surface of the gripper link and the surface of the connecting rod so they are assembled okay now let me show you what is uh, the offset difference that I was talking earlier in the video for the gear mate and as you can see th this is not aligned properly so we have to make it aligned first so I will expand the mates and this is the mate the gear mate I will delete this gear mate first after deleting that gear mate I will align this part first so I'm gonna manually adjust this part first so little further a little further and I think this is a perfect um, position where there should be made so I will do the same thing uh, in mechanical mate I'm gonna select these two inner surfaces of the hole and then I will select the gear and then check the box from there so this is going to be now perfectly aligned and in order to uh, assemble it with the motor so I have already modeled the servo, uh, servo motor so I will use this servo motor model so uh, this is the attachment for the motor and I will use this uh, attachment in order to make so first I'm gonna position it correctly and then I, uh, for that I'm gonna use the rotate component so this is perfectly there there should be at so I'm gonna select the mate and I will select the surface of the motor attachment and the surface of the motor this is basically the shaft so this is assembled 
and I'm gonna select the mate again and this time I will hmm, I will select this um, this surface of the motor I will select this surface of motor motor and it's selected and then this surface of the attachment so this is perfectly aligned okay in order to properly align uh, I want to connect uh, made these two surfaces so I will click on made and I will select this surface of the motor and this surface of the attachment and then check the box so this is perfectly aligned and it's not gonna move perfect so motor has been attached and then I will show you further settings for the angle so I will select here normal 2 and in normal 2 uh, I will select here mate and then I will select this surface and then this surface of the gear link and I will go into advance and then I will select here angle uh, I want to limit the angle of the robotic gripper motion so this is the um, angle least angle which is which should be zero and okay so two degrees is fine I will check the box so this can only move like this just because of the angle limitation and now let's edit this angle made a little bit further so the maximum angle should be like for example 80 degree so from 0 degree to 80 degree is gonna it's gonna re restrict the motion of the gripper so the gripper cannot do um, false motion it will not go beyond 80 degree so we have actually restricted the motion of the robotic gripper okay now I will select the base link and then in, uh, I will open it as separately now it's time to render so this is the basic color which I have deleted and now I can apply any color that I like so in high gloss I'm gonna apply this material to it or this one and after that uh, after applying this material I can click on save file save and then I will exit it from it and the color of the base link has been updated so one by one if I want to edit the color of any uh, link I can change it from there okay so in order to properly render it I can change the color of the parts like this so after doing that I have now I have rendered it properly so this is the gripper and that is the motion of the gripper so that's all for this tutorial and after that I'm gonna save this file and for that I will go to file click on save as and I will save it as robotic gripper and then hit the save button so that's all for this video thanks for watching